Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, with all the new shooters and the gun scarcity and ammo scarcity, you're seeing a lot of talk about 22 long rifle and self-defense scenarios. You know, new shooters may that might be all they can get, or maybe maybe you got you inherited a firearm and that's all you have. So today we're going to take a look at three different options in 22 long rifle with three different ammos. And what I mean by that. So we're going to be using three fairly popular 22 long rifle uh, ammos. Uh, CCI Stinger, pretty popular round. Some Federal 38 grain hollow points and some Federal Bulk Pack 36 grain hollow points. Uh, I know two of those are Federal, but there does seem to be a difference between the bullets since one's 36 grain, one's 38. I'm not sure exactly how different they are other than those two grains but we'll see how they do. Now we're going to be taking a look at this with three different firearm platforms and the reason being is because you may be using 22 long rifle for home defense where a rifle may may be your choice of weapon and we're going to look at it from a five inch barrel handgun as well as a micro pocket pistol and that's going to be the Beretta 21A also known as the Bobcat. We are going to get a little nerdy because the barrel links the differences in the barrel lengths is really a big factor when it comes to 22 long rifle. So we're going to do some chrono work, shoot it through there, we'll take some data down, and then we'll crunch some numbers, and then we'll get to the ballistics gel testing. Okay guys, first up, I'm going to do the Ruger 1022 and the 38 grain Federal hollow point. Keep in mind, I'm only going to do three shot averages because I don't want to bore you all with chronograph all day, and we have quite a few to test. One thousand ninety seven. One thousand one hundred sixty nine. One thousand one hundred ninety one. Next up is going to be the thirty six grain federal bulk stuff. It is a hollow point, so that's why we're testing it. So three rounds federal, thirty six grain. Yeah, out of, out of the Ruger 1022. 1,228. 1,175. 1,135. Up next are 32 grain CCI Stingers. These are notorious for being a little bit faster, they're a little lighter, but they're a quality ammo, so let's see how they do. 32 grain CCI Stingers. 1600. 1568. 1559 quite a bit faster. Okay, time for the handgun. We're gonna go in the same order with the ammo. We're gonna start out with the 38 grain Federal hollow points, and it's gonna be out of five inch Ruger, 10, uh, Ruger 2245. Uh, it's plain old, plain old Ruger handgun. So three shots, 38 grain Federal hollow point. 1047. 1,040, 1,068. Okay, now for the 36 grain Federal hollow point, five inch barrel Ruger. 9,078, 983. I think I said 9,078 on that last shot. It was 978. <laughs> this one's 983. Yeah. 985, not 9,000. All right, now for the 32 grain Stangers, as some like to call them. I expect these to be a little bit faster. 1,282. And you can even tell just in the in the noise and the percussion, these are definitely a warmer load. 
1,259. 1,302. Next up, we're at a 21A Bobcat, 38 grain federal hollow points. If you haven't already, go check out Buffalo Outdoors video he just released on the 21A. It's a little newer version, a lot nicer than this one, but excellent video. Buffalo's Outdoors. So 38 grain, federal. Eight hundred sixty nine. Uh oh. Oh, you should extract. Hold on. Okay, we're back. That's just a risk you take whenever you're running these little pocket twenty twos, guys. So first shot was eight sixty nine. This is still the the thirty eight grain. Eight oh five. <laughs> Look at that. It does not like this ammo at all. We did, however, get it round chambered somehow. All right. 823. Okay, up now. 21A, 36 grain federal hollow point. 817. 818. 858. Seems to like those a little bit better. CCS Stangers do in the 21A. 964. 992. 1013. Likes those pretty well. All right, so let's get a little nerdy here. We're not going to talk about energy because energy is a moot point with 22 long rifle, but I do want you to see the difference in velocities as the barrel lengths go down. 38 grain, you can see it dropped right at 100 feet per second. Average coming from the rifle to the five, but when you go down here to this one, you lose quite a bit just from five inch to, I don't know what length that barrel is, two and a half or something. And it's that's the, that plays the same across the board here. And especially rings true with these stingers, these 32 grain stingers, there's quite a bit of velocity drop as your barrel length gets shorter. Now, like I said, that's not going to play a huge factor in energy, which I mean, it will, but <laughs> even the most powerful load here is still not that that, that powerful as far as energy is concerned but what it may play a factor in is how well your bullet will actually expand if they expand at all so that brings us to the next step let's get to the gel block Okay, so you may have noticed that we had all three shots there. I wasn't going to stop and talk about each one. The bottom is the 38 grain Federal, and this is all these are out of the 1022 rifle. So 38 grain Federal, 36 grain Federal, 32 grain uh, Stinger. Out of those, it's clear to see the wound tract is definitely uh, more substantial with the Stinger. However, this one's not entirely bad. But let's take a closer look. You can see this bullet not expanded at all. This bullet a little bit expanded. You can see the nose starting to open up. And then the stinger fragmented somewhat. You can still see the base right there. <clears throat> but it done pretty good. Let's see how they do out of the five inch. To the other side of the block because I'm too dumb to have started on this side and work my way towards the cameras. But let's take a look. 
you can see this bottom tract here that is our 38 grain ends up right here 36 grain is right there in the middle tracking down you can see this bloom here it looks to have tumbled because it definitely did not expand uh, the stinger and the top you can see it has a little bit of a wound track for a 22 out of a handgun and there it rests it actually did expand now you're talking seven inches of penetration out of the stinger there not much better out of the rifle really and all of these rounds are coming in right around 14 inches of penetration so those are meeting penetration standards but they're not expanding at all so let's check out how these do out of the 21a Okay, again, we're on the other side of the block. These two right here are from the Stinger and the 36 grain, and that one is our 38 grain. You can see all three of these projectiles, that one, that one, and that one. Those are from the 21A Beretta. None of them expanded, including the Stinger and they all penetrated about the same eight to ten inches uh so yeah that's the results of that not not super pleased with that but it's 22. there you have the gel test portion of this of this demonstration before you take off i just want to point out that if you are going to carry a 22 long rifle or use it for home defense please use a quality ammunition because not just it's not just the bullet performance that's important Rimfire ammunition is very notorious for throwing out duds, especially in bulk pack type ammunition. And the reason being is that the priming compound and the priming process is totally different than a center fire round or the rifle, uh, handgun, whatever. But any rimfire does have the potential to have duds a lot more probable than with center fire. So if you are going to use 22 long rifle as, a, as any sort of defensive firearm in any shape, form, or fashion, please use quality ammunition. After this test, you can see some do better than others, even in the bullet perspective. I would highly recommend these 32 grain stingers for any of, the, any of the firearms you're going to use. They seem to do a little bit better than the others. And to make sure that your firearm will cycle them reliably. Also, if you're going to carry this because it's easy to keep in your pocket, please know what you have. It's, it's, it's better than a sharp stick, as they would say, but just understand what you have, and hopefully you can upgrade a little bit for, for some form of, of carry protection. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, share these videos. It helps out the small channels like this. Check us out over on Instagram, The Gun Dungeon, all one word. Until next time, guys, stay tuned.